Now, if you were not aware, drones are coming to Rust. Now, why are they coming to Rust? Well, it's to make safe delivery and trading in Rust by the looks of how they're trying to implement it. These can only be found in safe zones, and personally, I think it's going to bring a lot more interaction back into the game. Not to mention the new starter servers that are coming out in the 4th of February as well. Rust used to be very interactive, and I think this is probably going to bring that back. Now, these are very simple to use. If you have a vending machine on the map, like I've set up here, miles away, you can now run to a safe zone and safely buy from it without running the length of the map. Running the length of the map is time consuming and comes with risk, so they've offset this with a cost of scrap to use the drone system instead. You cannot shoot the drones out, so do not try it, there's no point in even attempting it. It's made as a safe passage. Now to use these, it's very simple. You basically go up to a terminal, it locks onto your character. You click on to the vending machine that you wish to use and buy. Now one thing to note on this, look at the bottom. I can trade at the moment on staging a box for an LR if it was my vending machine. So this sets up trading quite well. Using the phones, you can communicate between each other. Put it in when you know that person is going to be there and trade. Now trading used to be a massive thing in Rust, huge. Now it's not as big, people don't communicate, they just kill on site and it just doesn't work as well as it used to. So for me personally, with the new servers coming in, like the starter servers if you like, where it's less PvP orientated and you can start in safe zones, this gets people started a lot easier. And to be honest, no one likes running the length of the map to try and actually use something. So at the moment, this is how the system works. It's very, very simple to use and effective, and you can watch the flight path on the map as well. As I said, trading is now a thing in Rust again if they keep it the way it currently is. The small price of scrap, instead of losing everything, it just works. You can see here now the LR is in the vending machine that I, that I bought it from. So if you're looking for an LR, you have the phone number of someone, or know how to contact someone, they can now trade it with you quite easily. So that's a first look really on how it works at the moment. I think it may alter slightly, but I think it is honestly a good thing. But let me know what you think, because Rust is changing massively in the next week. This is only part one of a massive change coming.